Rest reduction, which is all about potential hydrometeorological hazards. So this will be the fourth quarter topic and module number seven. For the objectives of this lesson, at the end of this module, the learner should be able to recognize the signs of impending hydrometeorological hazards. The following are the hydrometeorological phenomena. So what is a cyclone? In meteorology, the term cyclone is defined as a system of winds that are rotating inwards to an area of low barometric pressure, such that in the northern hemisphere, it is anti-clockwise and in the southern hemisphere, it is clockwise circulation. Another hydrometeorological phenomena is the typhoon. So what is a typhoon? A tropical cyclone occurring in the Western Pacific or the Indian Oceans. A typhoon is a name of the storms that occur in the Western Pacific. Another hydrometeorological phenomena is the hurricane. So what is hurricane? Hurricane is the name given to this storm in the Atlantic Ocean and Eastern Pacific. Study the table below is the updated tropical cyclone classification. For the tropical cyclone, winds up to 61 km per hour. For tropical storm, winds up to 62 to 88 km per hour. For severe tropical storm, winds up to 89 to 117 km per hour. For typhoon, winds up to 180 to 220 km per, per hour. And for the category of super typhoon, the wind exceeding 220 km per hour. Study the table below or the Pag-asa's revised storm warning signal as of May 2015. For signal number 1, winds of 30 to 60 km in the next 24 hours. For the signal number 2, winds of 61 to 120 km per hour in the next 24 hour. And for signal number 3, winds of 121 to 170 km per hour in the next 18 hours. And for the signal number 4, winds of 171 to 220 km per hour in the next 12 hours. And for the last signal, which is the signal number 5, winds of more than 220 km per hour in the next 12 hours. The following are the hydrometeorological hazards of the tropical cyclone. The first one is the strong wind. Strong wind hit the eastern Samar province in central Philippines last May 13, 2020. Lots uprooted trees on the street as Typhoon Vong Fong battered the country. Another strong winds and heavy rain have also battered the island of Bohol, which was devastated by 7.2 magnitude earthquake three weeks ago. The strong wind of tropical cyclone, more than 270,000 people in the area are already living under tarpaulins and in the makeshift shelter, and the extreme weather threatens to intensify the humanitarian emergency last November 2013. Another hydrometeorological hazard under the tropical cyclone is the excessive rainfall or flood. It is important to listen to the news on the radio or TV set to know the impending signs. As PSWS is issued information regarding typhoons or cyclones, you should be aware of what is expected and plan the steps you are going to go through. 
constant listening to the latest weather update is highly advised. The following are the color-coded rainfall advisories of Pag-asa. If yellow warning, flooding is possible, you need to monitor the weather condition. If orange warning, flooding is threatening, so you need to alert for possible evacuation. If it is red warning, serious flooding expected in the low-lying areas, so you need to evacuate. The following are the kinds of flooding based on the location and duration. For the location, the first one is river flooding. When the water normally flowing in the channel overflows its banks and spreads out into the surrounding land, this causes major problems for people living close to the river. Another kinds of flooding based on the location is the coastal flooding. It occurs when normally dry, low-lying land is flooded by seawater. The extent of coastal flooding is a function of the elevation inland flood waters penetrate which is controlled by the topography of the coastal land exposed to flooding. Another kinds of flooding based on the location is urban flooding. It is undation of land or properties in a built environment, particularly in more densely populated areas, caused by rainfall overwhelming the capacity of drainage systems such as storm sewers. The following are the kinds of flooding based on the location and duration. For the duration, the first one is flash flooding. It is a rapid flooding of low-lying areas, washes, rivers, dry lakes, and depressions. It may be caused by heavy rain associated with severe thunderstorm, hurricane, tropical storm, or meltwater from ice or snow flowing over ice sheets or snow fields. Another kind of flooding based on duration is the sheet flooding. It is an expanse of moving water into which the transient streams of arid regions spread out as they issue from the mountains upon the plains. Another kind of flooding based on the duration is the storm surge in coastal areas. It is a rising of the sea as a result of atmospheric pressure changes and wind associated with a storm. Another kind of flooding based on duration is the landslide. It is the movement of rock, earth, or debris down a slope section of land. It is caused by rain, earthquakes, volcanoes, or other factors that make the slope unstable. Another kind of flooding based on duration is the thunderstorm. It is a weather condition that produces lightning and thunder, heavy rainfall from cumulonimbus clouds, and possibly a tornado. It is a violent local atmospheric disturbance accompanied by lightning, thunder, and heavy rain. Another kind of flooding based on duration is the La Nina. La Nina is the abnormal cooling of the sea surface temperature that causes heavy rainfall, while El Nino refers to the abnormal warming of sea surface temperatures in the Pacific, which causes droughts and below normal rainfall. It has brought losses to Philippine agriculture. <music>